some of them from some of them are from the Census Bureau. The Census Bureau, you know, we think of as counting people, and they do that, but they also count businesses. Sometimes they partner up with um, another government agency, like the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and together they will put together a data set. One of the data sets that the Census Bureau puts together is called the County Business Patterns. And it's also available at the zip code level, the zip code business patterns. And in that, it's, as you can expect, it is a list of every county, and then um, a, um, within that county, it shows you um, how many businesses there are, how many employees that business, that those kinds of businesses um, have, and it's broken out by category, so you can see specifically how many manufacturing jobs are in this um, uh, zip code or this county, how many retail jobs, and so it's a, a pretty rich data set. How far does it go back? Um, uh, God, I mean, decades, because um, I know it goes back at least to 1998, and I think that's just in this one. Now, again, with a lot of these data sets, especially the Census Bureau, um, the, the trade-off is you have a long history. That's the good part. The bad part is the latest data set is 2010, okay? And so, yeah, it's not the, I guess they have kind of a short shelf life. As soon as, you know, the 2010 data were released in June. So, you know, we're always like two years behind. So. So, and, and you know, you, as reporters, you guys need to size up. Is it worth, is there a story there? How valid is that going to be? And that's not kind of something I can help you with, but I've seen a number of um, journalists do stories on this. You know, sometimes they're not the holy crap, holy Mar you know, hey Mark, the kinds of stories, but they're just good service stories about how business is changing in a particular community. 